up to this point because I truly believe that what we have today is a foundation of a legacy company. And that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to be part of Plexus is that that whole legacy. So let's just kind of kick this thing off this morning and talk a little bit about the world that we live in today, right? If, uh, we were talking a little bit earlier on this call about, is it Saturday? Is it Monday? Like when you're in your house, right? Like it's hard to understand what day of the week it is. If you guys all know that it's Saturday, go ahead and drop down in the comments that you knew it was Saturday when you woke up this morning. But we're so grateful to have each and every one of you. The world that we are in today is unprecedented. We could have never planned for or imagine what it was going to happen in this day and age. Um, but the one thing that I want to talk about, and this is something that is so incredible, and it's a big part of the Plexus story that we don't ever really talk about. And sometimes it's really hard because our amazing founders, Tarl and Alec, are so humble. Oftentimes we don't get a chance to hear this part of the story. But from the very beginning, Alec and Tarl made a decision, a conscious decision to take a percentage of revenue, not profits, revenue, and invest it back into the business each and every month. They invest back in the ambassadors and into the employees and into the products, but they also invested in a way to be able to help. And again, no one could have ever planned for where we are at today in our world's history. We could have never planned for what was happening right now, but they had the foresight and the vision because they wanted to build a true legacy company. They wanted to build a company that was going to be here 30, 40, 50 years from now. And so what an incredible vision to follow these men as they're taking this company into the legacy and the amazing leaders that are going to be on this call today and the amazing leaders that are all over the world with Implexus that have that same vision, that same passion to invest back into their businesses with their, their heart, their soul, their passion, their time, their reputations to help truly build a legacy company so that people like you and I can come be a part of it and it can make us better by just being a part of it. So I just wanted to kick that off because, you know, Business as usual, it plexes. I know that we're some of us are working remotely, but we sent out tens of thousands of orders last week on time. Customer services answering calls. Um, we are on the on the calls uh, talking about new things that are rolling out, and I'm going to talk about that here in just a little bit. So, for the most part, we haven't skipped a beat because of the vision of our leaders, both in the field and here at corporate that have set things up from a vision of creating a legacy company. So when things like this pop up, yeah, it's a blurb in the radar, but we're moving forward. We're talking about convention. I'm going to talk about that. We're talking about product rollouts. I'm going to talk a little bit about that. We're talking about all of the things that's happening this year, and we're continuing to move forward regardless of the circumstances because we know that we have amazing, talented individuals who have trusted this company, not with just their heart, their souls, their, their dreams, but their reputations, that's something that, that we as an organization do not take for granted. So that's where I love to start today is the stability and the foundation that Plexus has to provide that hope moving forward. And, and that's something that our, our day and age we need. There's a little over 3 million Americans who lost their job because of what the situation that we're in right now when we were at a less than 3% unemployment and now we've got over 3 million Americans who lost their job from this, it starts to kind of like, oh my gosh, where are we at? What are we doing? And if you go back and look at over the 120 years that our industry has been around, our industry has always thrived in economic uncertainty. Why? Because that side hustle has the ability to become your main hustle to really help people to grow and to, to develop and to be able to have that sense of security and that income that's coming in regardless because you're getting that check that's coming in it because that's what true residual income is. True residual income is a big part of that true legacy company. Over 30 years ago, my mom started a little home-based business and she's still collecting a check today and that one decision that she made has had a ripple effect I like to think on tens of thousands of people's lives that's still affecting today so that is 
that is what really, when we started talking about rolling out our impact initiative last week of really helping 10,000 families in the next 40 days put an extra $600 in your pocket, that's what that's talking about. That's that stability. That's that hope. That's that opportunity for people to be able to grab a hold of and have that be a part of, of your life, being able to put that extra $600 in your pocket. And, and God bless Tarl. Like even last night, he's on a walk with his family because he's practicing social distancing and he's calling me and he's talking about like new ways and new things as we're, as we're growing this, uh, this company through these times of, of like, how else can, what else can we do? Like that was genuinely his question, Ryan, what else can we do to be helping our ambassadors? What else can we be doing to help our customers? And that just shows the heart of this man. Like we just talked about $6 million and in infusing that into our Plexus ambassador in the next 40 days and he's talking because he's on the on the walk with his son and his wife and he's thinking you know what can we be doing to to in, to help our customers and our ambassadors even more um and and that's an on top of like donating uh i think almost a hundred thousand meals to food banks this last week and and tens of thousands of dollars in, in donations that the company's done and and i i love seeing the plexus ambassadors in in your on you know, on social media how you guys are giving back you know being a blessing uh when blessed you know and i know i totally messed up that one and gwen's gonna hold that against me but she was even talking about this yesterday on the um advisory board call you know talking about that um being a blessing and being able to give back so i'm going to jump back into i'm sorry i get off on, on a tangent and and matthew is going to uh get get mad at me and i don't want him to get mad at me because he's such an awesome guy so mexico Again, business as usual, we're moving forward. Even though we can't be there live and in person and even though we can't showcase our brand new office in, in Mexico, we are kicking it off. We've got a launch call on the 31st of March. We're moving forward. We've had several um, a thousand people who've got their welcome packs this last week. Products are shipping in Mexico. So we're launching and we've got some incredible initiatives to help that market. So if you know anybody, anybody in Mexico and you want to be able to plug into that, just know that things are moving forward and we've got some exciting things happening with that. So yay, viva la Mexico. Um, and so we've got some um, also, I talked a little bit about some things coming in 2020. You know, I've had several questions about hey with everything that's happening are we putting on hold um some of the technology mobile apps some of the other things that are coming this year did i just slip and say mobile app um but no we are not like we are full steam ahead uh working uh, gareth and i was uh, texting last night at midnight uh because we've got some deadlines to hit here this next week um so we've got some incredible product launches that are coming this year in 2020 we've got an app that's coming and all of that it, it, technology different things that are coming is so exciting we're building towards convention which right now i don't know if you guys know this we're, as we're coming to the end of march we've got one more month to be able to drive through that convention contest convention yes we're planning we're moving we're full steam ahead the convention contest so ends on april 30th we've already had thousands of people already already earned we've had several people that's already gone all the way through the entire contest and earned all of the points there's several ways to earn if you guys you're, you're earning points just by being here and, you, and doing your business and you probably don't even know it so there's a convention tracker in your back office make sure you log in make sure you know where you're at because we want to make sure that we're celebrating your success your achievements your efforts towards your business and moving forward so there's many ways to earn I could go on and on, but there are some incredible speakers, some incredible leaders that are going to be on the call today sharing their heart, their passion with you. And I can't wait. I got my notepad. I got my pen. I can't wait to sit and take notes. So God bless each and every one of you. I hope you guys know that we're praying for you daily, multiple times a day. You're in our thoughts. You're in our prayers. You're in our hearts. We love you. We appreciate you. And, and God bless each and every one of you. And I'm going to turn it back over to my good friend, Matthew Aaron, with the greatest smile in the world. Take it away, my friend. <laughs> hey, thank you. I appreciate you saying that. Uh, who's excited about all of those great upcoming things Ryan just mentioned? I know I'm making little notes over here, too. Tons going on. 
and convention is going to be a blast. Cannot wait for it to get here. But before convention, we have Renew You still going on. Everyone, it is not too late to submit your results. We have until March 31st and uh, sharing not only your results, but a little about your journey can win you big. We have $2,500 USD in cash for six finalists, uh, $10,000 USD for two grand prize winners, a couple shopping sprees, and also trips to convention in Tennessee for free. Uh, free trip to Scottsdale with a makeover and shopping spree. Y'all, it is insane. So if you haven't already submitted your results for Renew You, what are you waiting for? Do it now. Uh, actually, don't do it now. Wait until this training is over and then do it. <laughs> April, will you get us started today? Yes, can you hear me? Hey guys, welcome. And thank you so much, Matthew, for reminding us about that Renew You Challenge. And Ryan, what a kickoff. I love all of your scoops. Um, I'm not sure if everyone at the home office will, but I know everyone on the Zoom is. I'm so excited about all of them. So, um, John, why don't you throw up the agenda so that everyone can find out what we've got on the docket today. Um, we are going to kick things off with product education with the lovely Estella Barraza, our product training lead from the home office. Next, we're going to hear about defining your why and sharing your story from Sapphire Ambassador Wesley Bishop. And then Emerald Ambassador Jenny Capers will be sharing her tips on expanding your network through social media. And we'll hang around Instagram a little bit longer and talk about the right way to prospect and connect with Sapphire Ambassador Marianne Anderson. And next, I doubt there's anyone listening who wouldn't give their next meal in exchange to actually attend an in-person sip and share. But given our current social limitations, I can't wait for you guys to hear the best practices around hosting a virtual sip and share from Sapphire Ambassador Amy Welch and Diamond Ambassador Angie Zumwalt. And then Emerald Ambassador Christina Williams will be sharing how to maximize Maximize the Plexus compensation plan and Diamond Ambassador Emily Roberts will break it down so you're going to walk away today knowing how to make silver simple. You'll hear two incredible pleximonies from Diamond Ambassador Emily Fennell and Emerald Ambassador Tracy Stein and your home office training event would not be complete without a little inspiration from the one and only Senior Director of Global, Global Ambassador Training, Jim B.F. Scorey. But before we kick things off, I'd like to share, just because our connection is virtual doesn't mean we can't be interactive. So I want to really encourage you to communicate with all of us and each other using the chat feature in the Zoom. And you can ask questions and share your own experiences with the live topics being discussed. And here's a little tip. We're going to be doing giveaways throughout this entire session, and the way that we know that you're here and ready to win is by hearing from you in the chat. So don't be a stranger. Okay, so let's get this party started. You can move forward a slide. Our first speaker earned her bachelor's in kinesiology and master's in science and master's excuse me, Master's of Science in Exercise and Wellness, and with a focus in health promotion and neuroscience from Arizona State University. She has built a decade-long career from her passion for exercise, and it's no surprise that she's got four marathons under her belt. Yes, four. It's unbelievable. She follows a plant-based vegan nutrition regimen and is a lifelong champion of exercise and health enthusiast. My friend, colleague, and business partner who inspires me on a daily basis, please welcome Estella Barraza. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much, April, for that introduction. I am just so delighted that I can join all of you today, um, and I just want to send my love and my prayers to all of you. I hope you're staying safe and healthy and staying at home, too. I want to start off with our Plexus products, which are the core of our company, along with all of the stories that you are sharing with us, that you share with all the countless of people that you are interacting with. And with that is 
what brings us help and happiness to all of us. And our, we're going to be talking about anywhere from gut health, our main categories, and then weight management. But I want to go ahead and start with gut health, and then I'm going to end with skin care. So with gut health, we know it's an important, an important system for our health, and it is one of the ones that is so crucial for us to maintain overall health. And I'm going to explain exactly what are products, what are the benefits, and I'm going to go by faces. But first, I'm going to start off by, many of you guys already know this, but when you're talking with somebody about our Plexus products, it's so important to mention to them how important our products are when it comes to gut health and when it comes to maintaining a healthy gut microbiome. In the healthy gut microbiome, I want all of you to just think of this when you're sharing it with all of your with your friends or when you're talking about the Plexus products with somebody, that it first starts by us imagining a garden. And I always say, my mom never let me start any planting anything if I did not start by just weeding and water and, and really, uh, before we even watering, it was uh, just cleaning out the or the dirt that I was going to be planting on, right? So first we start with our systems that are in relation to weight management. I think I'm a little bit ahead of here on the slides, so I apologize. But here in the gut garden, and so think of it, weed, seed, and then feed. So when we're first thinking of our garden, how are we uh, weeding the, the area? So if you think of that, think of our product that is BioCleanse. And BioCleanse is, I'm going to be explaining it a little bit ahead, but BioCleanse truly is the starting point for our gut microbiome to begin to gain some stability, right? Then we think of how can we seed and then how can we feed. So I'm going to start off with BioCleanse. So BioCleanse truly is that system or that product that is going to give you what the 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 cleansing and the and the and the cleaning for your system and as you can see the many benefits here but one that i always like to point out when our body is cleansing out or cleaning out it does bio cleanse does include what it a different uh, form of antioxidants so when our body is cleansing out we can actually see that our body is feeding into and sustaining what our system is already getting rid of so helping getting rid of along with allowing it to feed into our good system now we're going to go into by a pro bio pro bio 5 is our i mean probiotics are what helps our system our gut microbiome stay healthy and stay well so probiotics here are pro bio 5 it does have a different variety of what is the probiotics and the more diversity that we can add the better it is and i always like to point out that we're including the main probiotics that have shown scientifically to improve what it is the good microbiome in our gut health and so by doing that we start the, the process of instead of having a very high negative microbiome in our system we start to lower that and then we start to increase the good microbiome in our system which is so crucial for so many systems in our in our in our body but something that i like to point out in this one specifically and something that you can always share with somebody is that we're truly using the this probiotics to incorporate and maintain a good ph level within our system and i know that our pH varies depending on the area of the of our gut, of our intestines. But if we can maintain a pretty leveled out uh, pH, then we're going to be sure that we're either absorbing the good nutrients, getting rid of the bad bacteria, and then actually really feeding our body with good health. And now when we think of our garden, we always think of how can I water it, right? How can I feed into it? So now that we're going to feed into it, and then comes our Slim, which is, oh my God, I cannot go a day without drinking my Slim. And I'm sure many of you that are watching think the same way. So when you think of our Slim, think of how our 
prebiotic that is the XOS that is included into the slim, that prebiotic feeds the probiotic. So here's a probiotic, the prebiotic feeds into it, and that's what helps our microbiome continue to maintain good health. And our prebiotics typically don't get activated until the end of our of our intestinal tract. So that's why it's so crucial to take this along uh, with each other or to take them uh, together. So have take them within the same day. So the next part is gonna be more focusing on how important our gut system is talking to our brain. And one of the main things that science has discovered is this term called the gut brain axis. And this gut brain axis has shown us that we can actually, um, that our gut and our brain are communicating back and forth with each other all the time. And that means that hormones that are secreted, that means that the neurotransmitters that are being released, that means that our mood is dependent on it, that means that almost up to the extent of the way that we're thinking, the way that we're feeling, the way that we're digesting our food, everything is dependent on this system. So that's why it's so crucial that our gut is healthy, our brain is healthy, and vice versa. So you can see here exactly what the role each of them play, but that's the main point. How can we maintain both of these systems healthy? And this is science that is emerging so rapidly and we're learning more. I always say when I was doing my undergrad, I never really focused or, you know, our university didn't focus so much on this. And the research has just been within the last 10 years. And this is what I love about Plexus specifically. The Plexus is always ahead and right along with what the science is showing us. So that's how we're maintaining ourselves to be innovative and to continue to create products that are coming along with the, what science is showing us to improve our health. And if we go on to the next slide, you're gonna see a little bit more on the weight management products. So our weight management, we're moving away from gut health right now, but think of gut health as that foundational system and the foundation for our products as well. Now that we go into weight gain, I mean, you see the statistics all the time. And those statistics are always, always um, going to be there to teach us something. And I always say they're going to be there to teach us but it's up to us to make sure that we're taking action to not be a part of that negative statistic sometimes. Um, things as uh, overweight, the uh, how much uh, either you know, obesity is throughout the world and so on. And we think of just even what we're going through right now, how can we use as prevention to be avoiding this negative statistics, right? So when we think of that, think of your daily decisions that you're doing every single day. Think of your portion sizes. Think of how much it has changed. How much do they change throughout the years, but how much do they change even in, within your day? Think of what are kind of, what are the choices that you're making to make sure that you're choosing one healthy meal per day. And here you can actually see how the portions of portion sizes have changed throughout the years. And I mean, I'm sure that all of us are pretty guilty of, you know, taking the bigger size popcorn at the movie theater or choosing the bigger bagel and so on. But think of how much our society is almost guiding us there and how much almost more willpower to a certain extent that we have to make to ensure that we're not basically going into what society is telling us to go with the bigger uh, popcorn and so on. So now that I talked about portion size, I really want to focus a lot more on how, what are, so now that you're telling me, okay, well, there's so, you know, there, there's so bigger portion sizes and sometimes it's out of my control, but if you can think of a little bit more on how can I specifically, what are the kind of vitamins and so on that I can be taking, we know specifically right now, especially here in the United States, we're consuming a lot more calories and with that, we're not consuming the right calories. And by the right calories, I always say it's very empty calories that we're consuming such as white sugar, 
uh, foods uh, like cookies and cakes and even um, things that don't provide a lot of nutritional value. And that's where you can see here on the screen that there's so much deficiency of how much uh, vitamins and so on that people are just not getting in their day. And so that's where we provide here Plexus the solution for better health and for a better, more nutritious meal, which is our Lean Shake, which it's one that I love. I actually take it every morning. I take the vegan one. It's my favorite. And I'm also, like April mentioned, following a plant-based lifestyle. And that's what I love about Plexus, that we have something for everybody. So here you see the amount of protein that it has, the amount of vitamins. And that's key because we need to ensure that we're getting at least one of our meals per day or two that are going to become one that are completely nutritious for us. So I'm going to show you exactly how to talk to your prospects or to your friends when you're sharing about Plexus and how to incorporate that based on their goals. So if they are planning on having a weight loss goal, this is exactly how you should have them follow. They replace two meals per day and then they actually eat good snacks, very healthy snacks such as a fruit or healthy nuts. And I always say combine the protein, the good carbohydrates, the good healthy fats, into every single meal. So if you're gonna eat some fruit, add some peanut butter, add some nuts to it. If you're gonna have your uh, a burrito like you see here, or your salmon, that has good healthy fats, it comes with great lean protein, and then you have the asparagus as your carbohydrate. So you see how complete these meals are for somebody to actually follow their lifestyle. So if they're planning a weight loss goal, replace two, two shakes a day, then when they reach the weight loss goal, they're now maintaining their, that weight that they lost and they're, and they're at their goal weight. Now they only replace one meal. And that's exactly what I do every morning. I drink my shake every single morning so that I can ensure that I continue to maintain good health, a good healthy weight that fits my, uh, my lifestyle. And so that's exactly how you transition them on. They don't always have to replace two meals, but they can replace, it's, it's just dependent on their goal. That's how they, they think of replacing. But one meal, one lean a day, it's incredible for all of you to continue to do. And then you can see exactly here how much it relates to the pricing. A lot of times people say, it's Estella, like, you know, or they tell you all that it, it's so expensive, you know, I, I just can't afford to get that right now, any product. And one of the things that you always can do is break down exactly what they're taking per day. What is their investment for their health that they are investing on? per day and I'm sure that they're gonna see the difference here how you see on this table that they're gonna be shocked to know how much difference they're probably spending on unhealthy foods compared to what they could be spending for a very nutritious healthy meal so it, it goes I mean club sandwiches go from how I mean it's just so much money that they're they, you know that people are spending they sometimes don't think about it and so think, breaking them down I think it's always so helpful for them to do that uh, for you to do that for them and if we go um, be, uh, to the next slide it really I want to continue to focus on this weight management but then also move on to how we can continue to support our, 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 our goals, our health goals, through other of the products that we have. So here you can see Metaburn, and Metaburn, oh my goodness, it is incredible, and I'm sure many of you already love it, have been loving it. And something that you can share with somebody is that it truly is that almost this um, fat burner to and an energizer at the same time. So it does contain those 100 milligrams of caffeine that are gonna give you that energy, but it also contains the grains of paradise and L-theanine and so on. So, but mainly the grains of paradise that are gonna help to improve the fat burning in that brown fat that we have to continue to burn almost, I always say, you're gonna see changes that are gonna probably not be so much weight loss changes in the beginning, but in the beginning, you're going to start seeing a lot of reduction in your waist, reduction in different areas of your body that you probably have had stubborn fat, like we call it, right? 
And that's exactly how you should explain it. Have them do measurements of the body. Body measurements are probably going to be your best predictor when it comes to using this product and to see the results that they're gaining. But best of all, it has the energy and it's going to help them reach those goals that they're aiming as well. And then our next product um, that, we, that I want to talk about today is focused a lot on, um, if we can see the next slide, it's focused a lot on what it is, our, our blood sugar regulation. So um, when we think of when we eat, a lot of times we're like, you know, we still want to eat a little bit of, um, I don't want to feel guilty or so, but again, having those cautious, healthy choices, but if you happen to go out or happen to eat a meal that um, has a little bit more higher in carbohydrates, then here's a meal, uh, a, a product that you can help to prevent the absorption of the carbohydrates to enter your blood system. So this is what balance is doing for you. It's truly, especially in the beginning when somebody is still adapting to all the changes of their meals and so on, this is a great one to start with to help them regulate those blood sugar um, um, uh, metabolism and then also help them a little, it's almost like the extra push, that extra help that they're getting with the meal that they're intaking. So it is gonna have the different types of beans that are gonna help improve the way that our body, uh, you know, when they take it, they don't absorb all of the carbohydrates that they're intaking. So balance, is a, it's just as it sounds, it's definitely balancing your Blood, uh, blood glucose metabolism during that meal that you that may, you might take a lot more carbohydrates. So, um, and then when we think of the other products that we have, it's it's so important that when uh, when we incorporate these products, that we're thinking of the person's goals. That that what are their goals? And if their goal is also to continue to have those weight loss goals, or just have more energy, or have a skincare. Um, um, Goal, then here is another product if they are thinking of controlling their hunger. So, and especially when it comes to weight loss goals, we know, or even energy, but weight loss goals specifically, we know that if they can control the amount of food that they eat um, and the times that they eat it, then they're going to be more likely to be more successful with reaching their goal. So, slim hunger control is so incredible that you can actually take it and this is something that you can explain to somebody. When they take it, they just feel full, like a little bit more full. They don't feel as anxious to try to go and grab whatever they were thinking of, of eating. And what it and what it is, is because of this ingredient, it's a fiber specifically, that it helps whenever it enters your system or whenever it enters somebody's system, it's gonna help with helping it almost feel that it's already had a little bit of, of food because it expands as it enters and then it controls that uh, feeling of I need to go grab something to eat like right now. So I always say take it between meals or take it before a meal or even during your meal so that way you know that if you're gonna um, eat whenever you're gonna eat, you're probably not gonna be eating as much during that meal. So take it a couple minutes before your meal. If you forget, take it within uh, during the meal. But it's also beneficial if you're like running around, you know you're not gonna eat for a while, go ahead and take it, and then that way you're not as anxious when you're, whenever it's your next meal. Um, and it's also a good, great one, along with the other Slim Microbiome Activating, both have the incredible, incredible um, uh, extras of chromium that help with glucose metabolism, so you know that our, our system is gonna be a little bit more balanced by taking this to specific uh, drinks. Now that we move on from gut health, weight management, weight uh, and so on, now let's think of our skin. And it's probably one of my second favorite um, areas to talk about. Um, personally, I have my skin routine. I use my Joium in the morning and at night. And it's something that it's almost a routine for us. But we know specifically that our skin is an and it, the, the, almost like the first defense if, um, uh, from the environment to our internal body, and it's our largest organ, and it's, I mean, it, it's so incredible that sometimes we just forget, but I always like to remind people that our skin 
care starts from within. So by starting to taking care of our health and our gut microbiome, we're starting to also help our skin be more radiant, more glowing, more healthier. And that's exactly, now that it's starting with the gut microbiome, then now let me help you also to increase that um, sense of glowing and so on with our joint system and then our collagen, which have been incredible. So here, I'm going to uh, talk a little bit first about our collagen and what makes our collagen multi-action complex so incredible is that it truly is specific for our skin. So it has, there's different types of collagen, as many of you know, our collagen is truly that glue for all of our systems within our body, for all of our cells and so on, is that it's a protein specifically, but there's different types that target different parts of our body. So Flex is truly wanted to focus more on our skin. So we chose number one, collagen one and collagen three, so we could focus specifically on our skin. And what that does is that your skin starts to, you start to see those those wrinkles probably start to disappear. And it's something that I always like to mention, how can your skin become more glowing, more radiant? And by using our gut health products, along with the collagen, our collagen, you can take it with the Slim, you can blend it with your shake, you can take it at any time, and you're gonna see those results. Within 15 days, you're gonna see some results. So that's something to always remind somebody. And now we say, take your before and after pictures, because you'll be surprised how much is not only for your face, but your entire, entire body, your skin, the skin elasticity will be a lot better. Um, what that means is that when your skin is more elastic, it's also going to be stronger. And what that means is going to be that it's starting to, um, you're going to start to see either other body, certain skin marks that you had seen before, you're going to start those to be a lot more tighter and a lot better. So um, one of the things I always like to remind uh, everyone is that because it has those ingredients that are going to help your skin elasticity and your skin strength, it's more likely that your skin is going to be a lot healthier and a lot more firm too. So um, that's something to remind everybody. And now let's go on to our Joyum. Uh, our Joyum, I mean, this is, a, a, it's definitely that age-defining serum that we have, and you can take it in the morning, you, you apply it to your um, face in the evening, and what it is, is truly those two serums, it's almost like an everything in one package for skincare. Um, what I love to mention about this one, and I always love that, uh, if you can share with everybody, is that it tru Plexus truly is, um, innovative and this specific product too with the microbiome, skin microbiome activating components and technology that is applied to this serum that it truly is uh, helping that microbiome of our skin to become more healthy as well. So this is something that is true and I'm sure you're seeing the results that your skin is more glowing, that your skin is more radiant and that's exactly why also with the my, with the microbiome of the skin is being more healthy as well. And as we start to finish up this presentation, we uh, then we move on from our skincare. We also have other products um, that you can, um, that all of you um, are sharing, but one specifically is all of our um, actives, our X factors, our vitabiome, our, our kids vitamins, and we know how important taking a multivitamin, a great multivitamin, is for health on a daily basis. And these are just other products that, that you can discuss, but I would love to go into active because it's also one of my favorite. I always say is that pick me up in the whatever time. So if you like to replace your morning coffee, it's a great one. It does help those 100 milligrams of caffeine from natural sources, the yerba mate, the green tea extract. And along with that caffeine, it also has the L-theanine. And the L-theanine is what helps us combine with the caffeine to help us not only give us that energy, but also help us focus. So a lot of times if somebody's feeling like, oh my gosh, I'm just feeling all over the place, 
I, I, you know, there's so much going on. Having a little bit more energy, focused energy, is going to be the key to almost help us just focus on what's the task ahead or what do I need to do next. So I always love taking it in the mid-afternoon personally. Um, some, you can replace two a day. It is really that energizer along with your helping you focus. Take it even before your workout so you can um, enjoy the benefits. It's a great flavor as well. And to finish off this presentation, I just want to remind you that our products are, I always like to say, our products are fitting somebody's lifestyle. Their lifestyle doesn't have to fit our products. So if you can always share that on how our products can fit, whatever their goals are, whatever their, their intentions are, then that's how they can apply it every single day. It becomes part of their routine. And it's something that they can actually make a daily decision just to be healthier by taking their Plexus products. Thank you, everyone. Just wasn't possible. 
but I was sitting there desiring more time with my kids. Like I want, wanted nothing more than more time with my kids. And I was starting to make a little bit of money with Lexus by helping people. And I started to dream. I started to think, what if this business could be my answer? So my why became to make enough so I could stay home with my kids. So I could be there for the field trips, the class parties, the sporting events, the concerts. You know, be there when my kids are sick, when there's no school, like right now. So I could be there for all the milestones as my youngest grew up. So I could travel to see my six and family because, guys, I lost my dad and my grandpa two years ago, and I couldn't be there in the end. I realized that I valued time above all else, so that was my driving force. And I'm so happy to tell you guys that in June of last year, I was able to quit and stay home with my kids. And the picture on the middle of the screen here is a picture of my last day of work. My kids came to pick me up from work, and they were excited. I was excited. It was amazing. If you guys don't already know that the possibilities of this business are endless, I'm here to tell you that they are. This opportunity is real. You have to be willing to put, your, put time into it and effort into it, put yourself out there, but it is worth it. So here I am, I've been living this big dream, this big life for about nine months now. And over the last few months, I noticed that I didn't have that driving force, that urgency, that sense of urgency that I had before, and I couldn't figure out why. I was still working, but my heart wasn't in it the same way. So when I found out that I was training on this, I laughed because I knew that I needed that extra kick in the pants to remind me to redefine my why. I should have done it a long time ago. So please know that just because I'm here training today, all of these wonderful ladies are here training today, it doesn't mean that we always do everything perfectly. We don't always have everything all figured out. But when we fall or we fail, we get back up and we keep moving forward. So since I wanted to keep moving forward, I redefined my why. And right now is kind of twofold. So the first part of my why now is uh, I want to be diamond because I want that extra income so that I can take my kids, we can take our kids on family vacations, on trips. Um, we want to have that, those extra funds so that we don't have to, you know, interrupt or put off our debt payoff schedule because we really want to be debt free. That's something that's important to us. But we also think that memories and traveling and adventures are way more important than material things, and we want our kids to have those adventures. The second part of my why, guys involves my dad so the picture on the center of the screen here is a picture of me and my dad at convention and like I said we lost him two years ago but his life during the last two years of his life while he was battling cancer he had an amazing quality of life he said that he was thriving instead of merely surviving before he started plexus and other lifestyle changes. His life consisted of my stepmom helping him from his bed down the stairs to the couch in the mornings and back up to his bed at night. That was in March. By October of the same year, he was at leaders retreat with us in Dallas and he walks that 5K with a little pep in his step. Some of you guys were there and saw it. If you did, I want you to comment because it was amazing. It was amazing. He was passionate about sharing Plexus with everyone and wanted to leave a lasting impact. So part of my why is to continue to carry out his legacy with a mission to change as many lives as possible. And of course, part of that means continuing to share Plexus. That always will be the case, but it goes beyond that. And the first part of that is going to be taking my kids on mission trips. And I don't know where else it's going to take us, but I cannot wait to see where else this takes us. Okay, so as you guys can see from my story, your why will change all the time. You've got to be cognizant of that and reevaluate and redefine often. Don't be like me and let yourself get stuck because you haven't taken the time to redefine it. So when I first got started, someone told me to write down my why. And I'm a good student, so I did it, right? But it was kind of half-heartedly, and then I sat it aside and forgot about it. Did, has anyone else done that? Did anybody else do that when they got started? Like, didn't really understand the importance of their why. But guys, 
guys, it was when I decided to really get serious about digging deep and figuring out why I was doing this. Like, what was going to keep me going in this? When I started to do that, that's when I felt like I started to fight for my dreams. And that's when something shifted in my business and my business really started to grow. So guys, dig deep. Be clear about what you want. Get to the heart of it and be specific. When I told you guys that my why was to make enough so I could be home with my kids, I didn't stop there. I dug deeper because I knew that that dollar amount that I needed, that was not enough to keep me going. But you better believe the desire to be home with my kids and be present with them was. And I took it a step further, guys. I told you to be specific. So when my youngest was born, he was, um, I already had this desire to be home with my kids. I already really wanted to be home with my kids. And so it killed me to go back to work after my turn leave. It killed me, hurt my heart so much. So I started to write down everything that I was missing that I wasn't willing to miss anymore. So when my daycare provider texted me and said, Helen just rolled over. Helen just walked three steps. Helen just said mama for the first time. I wrote those things down. When my oldest, who who is a preteen and thinks he's too cool for his mom anymore, when he asked me to volunteer for his class and I had to say no because I couldn't get the time off work, I wrote it down. Because when I got caught up in the I don't have time excuses, in the I can't do this anymore, I don't have the time to work my business and work full time and be a mom and be a wife and be a volunteer and be all the things, when I started to feel that way, all I had to do was get that list out and I knew I had to make the time. I knew the only way to gain the time that I desired with them was to invest time in my business now, right then and there. You guys have heard this before, but I had to turn my excuses as to why I couldn't work the business into my reasons why I had worked the business. Les Brown says, when your why is big enough, you will find your how. I love that, and I think it's so true and so fitting. If you're not taking the time to clearly define your, your why, your heart's not going to be in it. Trust me, I know from experience. And guess what? If your heart's not in it, your team's going to sense that, and they're going to follow your lead. So my challenge to all of you over this next week is to sit down and do that. To define your why. Dig deep. Get to the heart of it. Be specific. Figure out exactly what is driving you in this. And if you have a hard time figuring that out, Ask your upline, a sideline, a friend, yourself, somebody to help you dig deep. And once you've defined that, and I want you guys to share that with your team. So post it on your team page. And then reach out to your leaders and sit down and do this with each one of them. Okay? Help them with a vision cast. If they tell you they need an extra $500 a month, don't let them stop there. Ask them, what will that mean to you? How will that make you feel? What kind of stress will that relieve for your family? What will that mean for your family? Ask those questions to help them dig deep. If you love them and you really want them to be successful, I think this is a very, very, very important step. And honestly, it's one that I've been missing. I think it's easy when somebody joins your team to give them all the tasks, right? Tell them to post and to message and all the things. Um, But if we're missing this part, this is like the foundation that makes those other things easier, right? If we have a really strong why, it makes, like Les Brown says, the how becomes much easier, right? Um, So what I am doing now, um, every single month, beginning of the month, now that I've got my why all written out, I'm taking it out at the beginning of every month and I'm looking at it. And this is going to do a couple of things for me um, and hopefully for you if you decide to do this as well. One, it's going to relight my my flame, right? Relight light my fire and remind me why I'm doing this. And two, it's going to help me to remember to reevaluate, right? To look at it and say, is this still serving me? Is this still motivating me? Is this still relevant? Or have I already achieved this? Do I need to redefine? Now this last bullet might seem out of place. You guys might think, what in the heck does don't prejudge have to do with my why? But hear me out, guys. There is no way for us to know the desire of other people's hearts. We can't know what their why will be or what it could evolve into. I didn't even know that this was a desire of mine. It was very deep inside my heart. I was fulfilled in my career and I was passionate about it and I didn't feel like I needed anything else. I didn't didn't feel like I had time for anything else. I 
didn't think that I needed the money, right? But God knew. And look at me now, guys, okay? So don't ever, please don't ever fail to share this gift, this amazing gift of an opportunity with somebody because you think they will want it or need it. It's not our decision to make. It's our job to present this opportunity to opportunity to them and show them that the possibilities are endless so that they can make the choice for themselves. All right, so I want to know in the chat, now that we've talked through all of that, I want to know how many of you feel like you have a clearly defined why? How many of you get tears in your eyes when you think about that why? How many of you, when you're having a hard day, hard week, hard season, can think about that why and it propels you forward? Does it push you to do the hard things? If not, you need to dig deeper. Your why may not be big enough, or maybe you just haven't clearly defined it yet. I truly believe that one of the differences between someone who quits when things get too hard and someone who sticks with it is their why. And it's not that one person's why is bigger than somebody else's. It's just that some people take the time to really define their why and really get to the heart of it, and some people don't. Please be one of those people who does. And I'd love for you guys to share your why in, in the comments. All right, so we're gonna shift gears a little bit here now. And this is gonna be short and sweet because I think sharing your story is simple. It's truly about making a connection with someone. And I'm gonna just go like a tiny bit science dirty on you guys um, really quickly. But did you guys know that when you hear a story, your body starts to produce more oxytocin? So you start to feel an instant connection with the person that's telling the story. So when I started talking to you guys this morning, I started with a story because I wanted you guys to feel a connection to me. I wanted you to be able to relate to me because I knew if I could accomplish that, that my words were way more likely to cause an impact, to have an impact on you. And isn't that why we are all here? Isn't that why we share our stories? Isn't that why we share about success every day so that we can make an impact? That's why I do. I once heard it said that we don't read the resume of someone we admire. We, we, we read their biographies. Guys, people want to see you. Okay, they don't just want to see all the perfect, the positive, the amazing, right? They want to see the highs and the lows. They want to see real life. They want to see you be vulnerable. So when I started this morning, I shared something with you guys that I'm not necessarily proud of. I told you guys that I didn't enjoy being around my kids. That is not something that's easy to share or that I necessarily like sharing but it's vulnerability like that that allows other people to see that you're human. And when they see that you're just a normal person, just like them, they start to think, well, maybe I could do what she does. Maybe I could be successful at what she's doing. It gives them hope. So when you're sharing your story, sexist related or not, be real, be you, be vulnerable, show your face and share often. I think it's easy to think, well, I've already shared my story two, three, ten times. Everybody's already seen it or heard it. But that's just not the case, right? So we've got to share often. We've got to share in different ways. We've got to share how Plexus fits into our everyday life, and we've got to share our just our daily life, just our lives, right? And one way that I like to do that, because I know that my audience relates to it, is by sharing just mom life things, right? Like hashtag, hashtag mom life. Who, who can't relate to that? I know a lot of my audience can, and maybe your audience is different, so find what they relate to, but this is an example of it. This, this picture on this uh, slide here was, um, I was getting ready for work. It was when I was still working. I had my robe on. I don't know if you can see that in the picture, but I'm still in my robe, trying to get ready for work, and my sweet little boy comes in, and he's crying, and he says, hold me, mama. And I couldn't say no to that, right? Um, he was only happy in my arms. So I'm sitting there, like, soaking in all the snuggles, loving all of the snuggles. And I'm thinking, why in the world <laughs> did I take the time to put eye makeup on my first eye? Because now I've got to finish eye makeup on my other eye. Like, this is why I don't wear makeup anymore, right? Hashtag mom life. Totally just a real life moment. So just share your life, you guys. <laughs> All right, if we could go to the next slide. 
I want you guys to hear me now. When I talk about sharing the highs and the lows, I don't mean sharing drama or negativity on social media. That is not what I'm about. I don't think that there is room for that on social media or really in general at all. Um, but you can share the highs and the lows and do it in such a way that it adds value to somebody. Okay. So this is a post that I posted. And again, it was just an everyday life post. It wasn't about like this. Um, although the way that I, um, responded to my kids that morning was a lot different than it would have been if I hadn't had flex. But this was a hard morning. This was a hectic morning. This was, you know, everything that could go wrong did. We were, the kids were fighting. They couldn't find their shoes. They couldn't find their coats. Um, we were running late and we get out to the car and guess what? Mom can't find her keys either. So we're already running late. It's not a short distance to school. Um, so we have to walk to school, but really it's because we're late. It's like a run, a skip, a hold Evan, piggyback and run with them on my back to school. Right. And we're almost to school that morning. And as I'm running with 40 pounds of Evan on my back, he says, mom, my hands are getting tired. Like it was the sweetest, cutest little thing ever. And it made me laugh. And it totally gave me a perspective shift on my entire day, my entire morning. And before that moment, I already knew that I was going to share about this morning because I'm a share and it's a good, it's a good mom life thing to share. Right. But I knew I had a choice. I could share about all the yuck from the morning about how my schedule was thrown off about um, you know, oh, I had a bad morning, so now my whole day is going to be bad. Like, I could have thought those things and shared those things. Um, but instead, I chose to share in such a way that would hopefully add value to somebody's day, right? That would hopefully bring a smile to someone's face. That could help somebody else have a perspective shift on their bad morning or their bad day. That could maybe show another mom or dad out there that they're, they're not alone. Like, they're not the only one that lost their keys or been late to school or whatever. Um so guys, just share real life, share the highs and the lows, and it doesn't have to be in a negative way. All right. When I first got started with Lexus, um, tell me if this is you too. I was not a fan of the selfie. Like I did not like to share pictures of myself. And honestly, it was a total ego thing. Like I did not want people to see me looking anything less than my best. Okay. So when I started, I was posting a lot, but I was posting a lot of graphics. So this, this graphic on this picture on the left-hand side, I was posting a lot of that kind of thing. And I noticed that my posts weren't getting any attention. I wasn't getting any comments or any likes. And um, honestly, my, my brain first went to like, okay, nobody likes Lexus and nobody wants to do this with me, right? That's where my brain went. And then I was like, well, wait a minute though. I have other friends that are sharing about Flexus and their posts are getting attention. So maybe it's not Flexus. Maybe I need to change something that I'm doing. It's not always easy to self-reflect right? like that, right? Um, and I looked at their posts and they were posting pictures of, of themselves, picture, pictures of their family, pictures of their life. And I was like, okay, I guess I need to kick that dang ego to the curb again. And I decided that it was worth it to be uncomfortable if people would actually read my posts, right? I had zero chance of making an impact on somebody if people were just scrolling right on past my posts. And if posting a picture of myself that I didn't really like or didn't really want to share made it so that somebody read my post and was impacted by it, then it was worth it. So the graphic was less scary, less vulnerable, but it was also less real and less likely to make, to cause an impact. Um, so this picture here on the slide of me is not the most flattering picture, right? Um, but if you look at the post, it is fitting, okay? The post is about being a sleep-deprived mama who is thankful that she has a healthy breakfast, even though she didn't get up in time to make one, and is thankful for her all-day energy, like her secret weapon to give her all-day energy. So a picture straight out of bed with bed head and no makeup was fitting for that post. And it's again, not a flattering picture, but I decided that I was going to share real pictures of myself, real unfiltered pictures, because I knew that it didn't matter if people didn't think I looked perfect and beautiful all the time, because I don't, and they don't either, and it's more relatable. Now, 
don't get me wrong, I still post pictures when I look like I do today because I actually did my hair and makeup today. But if you see me out at the grocery store or something, I'm going to look a lot more like this picture on this slide and a whole heck of a lot less like I do today. So I'm going to post both because that's just the real me. All right, if we can go to the next slide, please. All right, so this is just another example, you guys. This picture and this graphic are telling the same story, but the picture is way more likely to have an impact than the graphic, right? So guys, go out and share and be real, be you, be vulnerable, share often, um, and share in such a way that makes an impact on somebody's day or life. Share in such a way that adds value to others. And please, please, please take the time to redefine your why this week. Um, you will not regret it. Thanks, guys. All right, everybody was absolutely incredible. Thank you again while hearing those amazing testimony. You are absolutely incredible. Um, so I'm going to do three quick giveaways because we've got to keep it going and, and, and get it quick. Um, I hope everybody can hear me okay. Please let me know in the chat if you can or cannot. Um, for the three people that I have picked that have been rocking the chat, uh, first person is going to be... Uh, forgive me if I say this wrong, Rachel or Raquel Ross um, in Arkansas. She said, bad weather, um, and I just want to appreciate you for keep hopping and off, um, keeping to come back on, even though your your connection is kind of killing you right now. So we appreciate you for just hanging in there and, and staying with us today. Uh, Lakeisha Jackson, when she said these stories, I can hear all day. I am with you, girl. I can honestly listen to Wesley talk all day. You guys are absolutely incredible. I love your testimonies. And the last person is Miss Giannina Lon, who mentioned having a strong foundation and relating to that with Wesley. So congratulations, ladies. I'm super excited for you. I hope everyone is well and take care. so much jane congratulations to those who won some really cool cool swag uh if you would please shoot us a private message with that shipping information so we can get it out to you quick uh next we are going to keep this excitement going we have a very special woman uh jenny caspers she is an emerald ambassador and you are gonna love uh the tip she has to share about expanding your network. Jenny, are you there? I am here. Can you see me? I, I can't see you yet. I clicked it. <laughs> <laughs> I clicked it. What do we do? Camera working really quick. Perfect. Great. Hey, Jenny, take it away. Okay. It's all frozen. But anyway, hello, you guys. Okay. Let's talk about expanding your network. Wesley, that was so wonderful and so heartfelt and so moving. Thank you for sharing your story. It was so fun to sit and listen to, um, and it was just the thing to power me up to talk about this. So what I want to do is get really practical with you guys and talk a lot about Instagram. Um, so Facebook is awesome, and I think a lot of you share on Facebook, and it's kind of been the way to share on social media, um, and things are changing. Instagram is an incredible place to share, and I highly, highly recommend it. I'm just gonna move this out of the way here. I highly recommend it um, because you can kind of share your whole self. It's like a, a screenshot of you. When someone goes to your Instagram page, they see nine little squares, pictures that represent you. And you have the power to show your heart in that grid. Um, it's just, it's laid out very differently than Facebook, which is like little snippets and you go to someone's page and you scroll and scroll and scroll to get all this information. And Instagram is kind of really tight knit and personal. Um, so I have been on Instagram now for 
almost four years and it's kind of my wheelhouse i'm not very good at facebook um but i do get instagram and i started on there just to share pictures to be creative and what i found was a whole world out there and there is a huge marketing opportunity on instagram it is huge and plexus is a way to make a huge income through Instagram. There are a lot of people that are sharing ads and working with companies these days. It's like commercials are the olden days and having an influencer post on Instagram is the new way to share products. And with from what I have seen in my experience on Instagram, Plexus is a huge income opportunity compared to those other things. So the gift that we have is huge financially and also just this really awesome way to promote yourself personally and share your heart with people. So my first tip on Instagram, well, first of all, I want to make sure you all have one. And if you're intimidated by it, I hope today is going to help you to be more confident about what you're going to put out there. Um, But my first tip is to be authentic. Of course, always be authentic. Um, Always share your true, true story and speak from your heart. Um, I know that it's it's gonna be a work in progress to get on your video, your stories and share, but for sure, at least in your feed pictures, have your caption be your heart um, that you're presenting to the world. Um, And then to be open and friendly. Open meaning, communicate with people it's a back and forth when they come to you answer their questions and reach out to them you are this continual open book with people and having relationships and then be friendly you want to be a bright light on instagram there's a lot of negativity out there um there's also a lot of pride (laughs) of people trying to be very very perfect and so this goes along with what wesley was saying is You want to just be real and um, not be all about having the perfect image and putting on a show. That's kind of what I mean. Um, So with Instagram, you guys, if you want to be successful on there, you need to talk every single day, every day. I want you to post to your stories and your feed. Now, this is very important. Share things other than Plexus, please. One of the things that kept me from starting Plexus, honestly, was seeing some accounts that were like, actually kind of the photo that Wesley posted, but with the coffee cup, you know, all of those, um, the images with words and things, I can't emotionally connect to that. And so to me, when I see a post like that, I say, trying to sell something and most people do too and so they scroll right past it um and that was something that actually kept me from doing plexus how sad is that but it's true because i said i don't want to be like that um i don't want to be a sales machine and so thank goodness that i took the chance to try it because now i see i can do whatever i want and i can be me and a lot of that involves sharing plexus but sharing other things about me. Um, So I talk later about other things that you can share. But when someone comes to your Instagram page, those nine grid squares, I want for sure one of those to be obviously Plexus. Like, because when people scroll, 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 I want it to be, oh, there's a Plexus post. Oh, there's a pink drink. I recognize that drink. Oh, there's some capsules you know and the rest of it needs to be all the other things um and if you need ideas i'll talk about those in a little bit but you just don't want to oversaturate with plexus and your own photos are best like what wesley did with the selfie with the pink drink that is best so in order (laughs) to be really successful on instagram now before i did plexus this was it was like a job it's a job to grow on Instagram, it takes a lot of time um, because it's just not the way that it used to be. These days, you guys, it's really hard to grow. It just is, so I wouldn't get your hopes up and I also wouldn't get down on yourself if you're not getting followers. It's the way that it is these days. And I'm gonna give you some tips to get followers, but just don't get down on yourself. I really, really mean that. If you are posting on Instagram already and you're not getting very many likes, and you're seeing someone else is getting a lot of likes, 
please don't take that personally. Back a while ago, that might have been a reflection of what you were posting, but these days it's a reflection of how much you're being seen. Now, the people that are being seen and getting a lot of likes on their pictures, they are either, like I said, working all the time, commenting, liking, posting, interacting, because then Instagram rewards them for that kind of behavior. And they say, wow, you like our app. You participate in our app. We like this. We're going to get you out there more um, and show you more often. And um, also, there are some other things that are out there that involve people are paying for likes a lot these days. They're paying for followers. Um, so you can't compare. You just can't. That's very, very common these days. And I definitely recommend you do not do that um, because Instagram does frown upon it and they will limit your view and your reach if they see a third party network um, being interacted with your feed. And also it's, it's just a number. It's not quality. These are just fake accounts and, um, it's just not not worth it these days. So in order to be as successful as you can on Instagram, I do really recommend that you do an hour a day. Um, comment, comment, comment. You can like all the photos you want to like. That's great. But people don't necessarily notice that. If they have a smaller account, they'll see, oh, that person liked my photo. Oh, that person. And maybe they'll go check out your page or something. But you want to comment because people see comments they do and the best thing you can do is ask a question because then they can respond to you and right away you're making a relationship go to someone's page and just be like oh my gosh how did you make that or can you please let me know where you bought that um just go interact and keep checking in with people and when you comment that's how they're gonna see you and then there's this whole cool thing with the algorithm that um, you'll be popping up more for them. So that's pretty cool. Reply to stories. Stories are the nice little circles up at the top. Facebook has it too. Instagram has it. And it is all the rage. <laughs> it's very popular. If you are not watching those stories, you got to get on that bandwagon. It is perfect for sharing plexus. It is perfect for it. Um, because this is where people want to see the real and the raw. This is where you're going to share all the stuff about your life, things that go wrong, maybe how you made something. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about that later. But replying to people's stories is another big deal. They appreciate that very, very much. Because each time you send a little heart or you reply or ask a question, that's boosting them in the algorithm as well as yourself. And so you want to have that constant banter um, all the time. Another thing to spend in your Instagram time during the day uh, would be when you find these accounts that you are interacting with, or maybe you really look up to them. Maybe you see somebody and you're like, oh my gosh, she has such charisma, such an awesome personality. I want to, I want her on my team. Right. And so you're going to take her account and up in the corner on her account, there are three little dots. You're going to send her account in a chat to yourself. You can send a chat to yourself. And that's actually where I keep all my valuable information. That's where I keep things I want to copy paste. That's where I keep links. That's where I keep, um, maybe write ups that I've really found that worked. Um, and so that's where I send accounts that I know I want to stay in touch with. And so you kind of have this time where you go to all those accounts and you just go when you interact with them. Okay, so another thing is you're going to want to get photo filters or learn how to edit your photos. I'm a firm believer that you don't have to be a photographer <laughs> to be successful on Instagram. You don't. I really, truly believe even the darkest whatever photo that's just not that exciting can be made pretty. And now I know that, um, you know, we talked a little bit with Wesley about you know, it doesn't have to be the pretty. On Instagram you do want to show pretty on your page. doesn't mean you have to be all pretty and done up, um, but the photos have to be as good of quality that you can put out. And that's something you can learn. Photography is a skill you'd have to learn, but editing is so much easier to learn. Um, so one recommendation that's really popular is to get a photo filter. It's one app that I recommend greatly, and that's called Presco. Um, you can just go download it in the App Store. It is, I believe, $4.99, but worth it galore because it has about 100 different filters to choose from, 
And the cool thing about it is you can fade the intensity in and out um, because the last thing you want to do is add filters to your photos and they're like bright orange, all like, you know, so dark or so bright, you know, you want it to be something a little realistic because photo filters are likely to go out of style too. Um, but that's why I really recommend Presto because you can fade the intensity in and out. And another thing, when you first start putting a photo up on Instagram, they offer incredible editing tools. They really do. That brightness, um, the filters that they offer, highlights, sharpening, those are really good editing tools. They actually are. They didn't skimp on it. So brighten up those photos, make the color look good. You know, sometimes when we photograph things in our home, they're very yellowy and you want to cool it down. Um, so definitely work on the quality of your photos because this is why I say this, and it seems very unplexus related, but it is. Trust me, because when you reach out to someone, your Instagram page is a reflection of who you are. You want to look professional. You don't want to look intimidatingly professional, but you want to look like you know what you're talking about, like you're a respectable human being, like you are you know, friendly and caring, but also you got a good head on your shoulders and you know how to do things and that you're probably not trying to rip them off when you're messaging them, that you are really, truly, you know, you got something good to say, right? Your Instagram is your resume. You want it to look as good as it can, whatever that means for you. So give value to your audience. We're going to talk a bit about that soon, which is really just about what you post. You want to give people little gifts of things that they come to you for. Like whether it's a recipe, that's a gift to them. Um, Plexus is a gift to them. A lot of people view it as you try to take from them, to sell to them. So be conscious of how you share about that. But this is really something, especially right now with everything going on, this is something from your heart that you're trying to gift to the world. Um, so search out people you'd like to work with. I kind of talked about that. Look for someone that maybe they get a lot of comments. Um, that's huge, right? Because likes are likes that could be bought, but comments show people are interested in this person. They respect this person and want to talk to them. Um, and then people watch their stories, see their personality. Are they really personable? Are they confident? Um, that's somebody that you want on your team and that you want to be friends with. Um, utilize hashtags. Okay, hashtags are really big on Instagram. I will say, honestly, they used to be much more helpful. There's a lot of weird stuff going on right now with the algorithm. It's not as dependable in black and white. I could share with you what I used to know, but now it's very up in the air. I'm just going to say it. Um, but people use hashtags all the time. So a general rule, I want you to write this down if you can. Use a hashtag, number one, that you think someone's going to type in and search for. You know, sometimes we think, I don't know what's a good example of something that we would make a hashtag. Um, I don't know. <laughs> like, good morning, maybe. Now, how many of you are going on your Instagram page right now and typing, oh, I want to see what's under good morning. Oh, well, good morning to that person. <laughs> People aren't doing that, right? So you want to think of what would they be searching? It's almost like Google search. What would they be typing in, you know? Um, like one thing that people do a lot is how to lose weight. <laughs> Quick weight loss, you know, that's something that people do type in. Um, so when you type in a hashtag, this is the other thing I want you to look for. This is how you know if it's a good one to use or not. Um, it needs to have over, it, so when you type it in, a little number's going to pop up. That's how many people have used that hashtag before. It's showing its popularity. So you want to post something that has about hmm, over 40,000 entries underneath it. That means hmm, it's fairly popular. It's more likely something that someone is out there searching for. Um, and then the opposite end of the spectrum, if it has over a million people posting under it, that's way too popular, way too popular. Somebody's going to go over there and they're going to scroll, scroll, scroll. And your photo is going to get lost in the midst of everything <laughs> because it's just, it's too popular. Um, there's a couple good ones. I've thought of like, um, inflammation. That's a good one. We're lucky. It's still not that big. That's a really good
good hashtag to use. Another one, gut health is getting pretty big, but there's like gut health matters, things like that. Um, yeah, you want to just go look around and find them that are between, well, I'd say no more than 900,000 underneath them, and you'll find a lot of good ones. Make a list. Make a list um, in your phone, in your notes. Send a list of hashtags to yourself. And don't use the same ones over and over. So weird, but that's something that Instagram says, nope, I don't like that because they are taking advantage of our hashtag system to try to promote something because it's very weird. But basically, Instagram wants you to have a business account and pay to promote if you have a product to sell. Um, and so they limit you. So you want to kind of stay under the radar as promoting, promoting, promoting. It's it's just so they get money. Anyway, <laughs> so um, yes, speaking a lot about this, utilize hashtags. One more way to utilize hashtags that I love. Go under um, hashtag where you live, your city, even your state. You'll find some really good hashtags related to where you live, even if it's like a popular location or something. Um, or else you can also search by location next to where you search under the hashtags. This is so beneficial because people love when they're from the same place. Oh my gosh, you're from Minnesota. I'm from Minnesota. This so, do you know about this? Oh, I know about that. And so you right away have this connection with someone. Um, it's a friendly opener. <laughs> so definitely um, respond and, and like and comment on people in your location. Just whenever you have a spare moment. I just sometimes embed it and I go look and it's interesting to see too what's around. And who knows, maybe after everything that's going on right now, you can go meet those people for coffee eventually. You know, you never know. But it's really good to look under your location. All right. Participate in activities. Gosh, guys, I'm talking a lot. But okay. Activities. It's kind of changed these days with Instagram, but there are lots of fun things out there. There are, if you've seen loops, um, this is fun. So a follow loop, basically everybody posts the same photo. Um, usually there's like 50 people posting this one photo. It's like a mommy loop and everybody that wants to participate in the loop is going to follow everybody that posted that photo. They kind of loop around from photo to photo. The reason they do that is because those that posted this loop photo are going to follow them back. So this is a great way to get followers. Yes, because everybody's following each other. So you could do this loop and get like 50 to 100 followers. That's cool. But what I found is, first of all, they're very very popular these days and they're everywhere and people are now sick of them so the last thing you want is for somebody to go to your page and see loops it's just kind of the it's past it's just not fun anymore and so when they look at your page they think she's trying to grow her account why why is she trying to grow her account is there something tricky there um and then also the people that participate in the loop they want followers too. And so it's all about followers. And so you don't end up having a relationship with these new followers. You could, you certainly could. You could find some of your best friends out 